Flooding concerns top of lists for some Patterson residents even before the rain started. Several people are still recovering from the last time the Passaic River flooded less than two weeks ago. Let's check in now with Patterson's mayor, Andre Saya. And Mr. Mayor, thanks so much for taking a couple of moments for us. How are you, first of all? Morning, Chris. Well, we're a little bit better this morning because a significant amount of the flash flooding has receded. Unfortunately, on River Street, it hasn't. But we often say that when it rains, River Street is more river than street. But we'll get through that. And quite frankly, speaking of the river, we are monitoring the Passaic River because a few weeks ago it crested at over 10 feet, which created severe flooding conditions for our residents. So like I stated before, we are watching that river. And as far Second. as reports that you've been getting to your office this morning, we haven't had a chance to get our cameras out there yet and our chopper can't fly because last or two weeks ago, we had great overheads of exactly all the extensive damage that you had to deal with there. How bad is it as it relates to what happened two weeks ago so far from what you're hearing and seeing? Actually, Chris, before I arrived at the office, I had an opportunity to survey some of the streets that are traditionally plagued by flooding. And it looks like we don't have any issues of note However, I can tell you a lot of barricades have been removed, which is an encouraging sign. But we will see what happens with that river. I think you and John Elliott have been had that, having that conversation this morning. So, so Mr. Mayor, I, I know this, as you've mentioned, and as I'm sure your residents will, um, to their chagrin, that this happens over and over again. What, what can be done or what was done maybe this time to help mitigate some of the, the potential flood damage that people inevitably were going to have to experience? Yeah, I believe we were ahead of street closures just in case there were the flash flooding that we anticipated. And yes, we acted appropriately, and I give my Office of Manage Emergency Manager a lot of credit. But Chris, long-term, what we, what we did last year, we applied for a grant through the Department of Community Affairs so we could potentially build a flood resiliency wall on McBride Avenue, where we traditionally have flooding. And that would be very helpful in combating any future flooding in Patterson. Let's hope that we get that grant funding. I, where does it stand? Are you allowed to say? Is it, uh, have you gotten a call uh, at no, least? No, still pending. <laughs> yeah. Still, I wish we... I wish I could say something. I mean, there isn't anything to say, nothing to report. I mean, we're going to have to talk again, hopefully soon. Yeah, you think that something like that, there would be quicker action because you know you've got uh, obviously your residents that are like, hey, we can't keep dealing with this stuff. And that's what we're hearing like all over Bergen County. If you've seen some of the rain totals a little north yeah. of you in Franklin Lakes, North Hailed and five and a half, four and a half inches of rain, that rain's got to come somewhere. And, and sadly, a lot of times it, it comes down to you uh, in places like Little Falls and, and such. So, so things just from an infrastructure well, standpoint, just, you know, Measures need to be taken, and so it's, I'm sure it's very. I'm, I'm sure it's frustrating for you to to have to keep going back and going back and asking yeah. for for stuff like this. So hopefully something can get done. We do appreciate you taking a few moments, Thank you. and we wish you and uh, and your residents well. And hopefully you get through this. And there's not too many people with flooded basements and flooded streets. Thanks, Mr. Thank Mayor. You.